happening, bros and nose? We got another gamer against some dude off quid named Enjoy, and as you can hear, I'm using my old mic because I forgot my blue snowball at home, and I am at the moment at holidays, so that kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, I forgot to commentate these three games. I believe I believe it's three games that I forgot to commentate, so I just got to do that right now if I want to have enough content for this holiday. So yeah, let's just see how this goes. It's, it's at least better than. Ah, uh, a battle with that in a commentator. So, I'm, ch I'm challenged by Josh, and he's gonna lead off with the Hydrogon. I'm gonna lead off with an Espeon. I'm um, switched out of there into Tranny because I don't want to take an, uh, a Draco Meteor. Yeah, whatever. So, he goes for the Earth Power, predicts that switch very, very, very nicely. That was an awesome play on his part, but uh, that's really, really, really sucks. So, I'm thinking he's maybe choice because, yeah, you don't really see leftovers Hydrogon too much because, yeah. So, I'm gonna go for that Volt Switch, predicting the switch as he's in his Ferret. Thorn. Looking at that damage, even though it was a crit, I'm tell I'm I can easily tell that it is, it is a. I'm sorry, my commentating skills is kind of terrible. I'm kind of rusty at it, but um, I can easily tell that it is indeed a defensive, uh, a physical defensive Ferrothorn. So he keeps setting up self rocks on his own field, which yeah, I don't know why he does that, but um, yeah, I keep setting up light screens and shit, and uh, he gets a crit with the power. What's it called? Gyro Ball. I don't really care about that because I got that morning sun, you know. So, yeah, I believe I go for, go for that uh, psychic next turn because I just don't want him setting up Slip Rocks on my field. But, uh, yeah, I make an over prediction right here. That was pretty nice over prediction, actually. Uh, I predict the switch into Hydreigon. Well, actually, not into Hydreigon, but uh, into something. And right here, I overestimate the attack or special attack of Ninetales. I go for the Fire Blast. No, I was, I'm sorry, the Overheat. And, uh, yeah, it does less than half. Well, yeah, it, it does a little bit more than half, but, uh, yeah, it's in sun, so I thought it would actually take it out, but uh, it doesn't. So, use for the Fire Blast, and, uh, it takes out my Rotom. That was a really nice plan, Mark, or on his part, I'm sorry. And, uh, yeah, that was an, actually, that was a very nice plan on his part, so, yeah, this guy's got some skills, actually. So, I'll switch out of there into, uh, my Espeon, because I know this power is coming. And uh, I am a defensive Espeon, so I know I can take that and go for the Morning Sun and get back to almost full because it's in Sun. So now he's going to go for the Super Power again, and it's not going to do anything to me. Uh, so I, I switch out of there into my Nine Tails again. And I was going to go into Zapdos, and um, I'm going to go for that Fire Blast, I believe, or that... Okay, okay, I go for the hypnosis. And thankfully, though, it hits, which, yeah, it's like the first time in like a million years it does that. So, I'll switch out of there into Gary Oak. And uh, he's gonna sleep, and he's gonna over predict, or he's gonna predict me to over predict. So, I'm gonna go for that Stone Edge. Uh, well, actually, I don't over predict, so I just stick with the Stone Edge. And, uh, yeah, I believe he's gonna take it out in one shot. Uh, yes, it in indeed it does. So, yeah, the thing is died. But that thing's dead. I'm sorry, my commentating skills is. I'm pretty rusty. I'm sorry about that. But, um. Uh, Enough about that, uh, he's gonna go for the fake out, and uh, it's not gonna do anything to Miltank, uh, I'm getting used to using Miltank, I've used it like, in like every single team I've used in this, like, the last 15 battles, I don't know, but um, he's gonna go for the U-turn, take out my Espeon easily, uh, which is kinda bad actually, because Espeon, Espeon, Espeon would've helped me out a lot later on, so, I'm gonna set in, I'm gonna set in Nine Tails, and I'm gonna go for that Solo Bream, I thought it would actually take out that nine tails, but it doesn't. So, yeah, that was really, really crucial actually. Because if I would have done that, then I would have probably won the game. But uh, it doesn't. So, I'm setting Gary Oak again. Go for that quick attack and take that thing out. Um, but uh, he's gonna send out this minion shower right here, and uh, I know I have, I have a uh, higher base speed than I think, and uh, I can just go for the close combat, take it out in one shot. So he's going to go to his Ferrothorn, and uh, he said it was a physically defensive thing, but uh, I don't really know, but uh, I do get a crit with this close combat. Well, yeah, it probably matter because he was physically de physically defensive, so yeah, I don't know. But um, it's going to sit into this Heat Ran, and I do carry the Earthquake, which is easily going to take out that Heat Ran. So that was a good game, whatever your name was, you are pretty skilled actually, but uh, yeah, I still won the game. So I'm sorry about the hacks, nothing I can do about it, so yeah, ho hopefully you guys enjoy this game, sorry about the old mic, but uh, it's better than no commentary, you know, so hopefully you guys enjoy this battle, if you did, please remember to give a like, comment, sub, all that stuff, and I'll catch you guys later, peace!